My name is Amy Adelman and I'm an associate professor at the University of North Texas and I run the Fibers program. I was a student at Arizona State University and I transferred there from Columbus College of Art and Design and I already had a strong foundation in art and um, I declared myself a drawing and painting major like most students do um, but I had to fill elective classes so I took a fibers course and on the first day of class they were <laughs> teaching basketry and I thought oh I don't want to make a basket but I stayed in class made a twine basket and I loved it and I knew ever since that that's what my focus was going to be. I think fiber arts is definitely becomes more popular each year and I think part of its value is that it really is mixed media and so there's no limit to materials, there's no limit to format, it can be 2D, it can be 3D, it can be installation, um, but it also incorporates um, photography and drawing and painting and printmaking and there's just no, no limits that it has like some of the other um, fields of art. Our focus is, is, is broad in the sense that we do give our students a strong background in um, basic elements and principles of art but also a strong background in, in fibers, in weaving, in surface design, basketry, crochet, knit, um, but we do encourage the students to expand on that by using multiple materials, non-traditional materials, um, to bring their uh, artwork into the contemporary realm. Well, I definitely teach fibers as a, uh, as a form of art, um, less than a form of craft, being something that's functional, if we break down craft in a very broad definition. Um, so therefore, my students are taught just like a painting student, a drawing student, um, a ceramic, um, a sculpture student would be in how to approach galleries and have the confidence to approach um, museums, galleries with their work as being artwork. So part of that is knowing how to sell your work um, to others. Um, so I think the ways that they do this is um, by using non-traditional materials and also using mixed media uh, techniques. No, they don't, because I don't think that they have those distinctions. They don't have a barrier there. They don't look at one, they don't look at craft any different than art and art any different than craft. So they don't have that, the boundaries that I think have been placed on the crafts generations ago. The majority of my students do not have a background in fibers and um, they don't even know it exists as an option in college. One, because they haven't been introduced to it in elementary, in grade school, in high school, um, which is what Explore Fibers um, could definitely bring to the curriculums at these um, public and private institutions, as well as homeschooling. Explore Fibers can offer faculty and students to brush up on the techniques that they already know the basics of, but it can also be a resource to find new techniques, and it could be a great way for graduate students to look at how to build a curriculum in fibers. The cornerstone of our program is that we have three faculty. There's myself, Leslie Robertson, and Laura Conte, and all of us have very different work and we really encourage the students to develop their own aesthetic voice in their work and so that there's no none of their work looks like our work but I think those are those great things is when they learn those basics you know we just had Ian Coddington come in and do a workshop and so um, a couple students did that those same techniques and developed a piece which the forms were different than Anne's but um, it was still the same materials, so I think when, I, when they were back in my class, I was like, okay, you've done this, you've experimented with it, now it's time to see what other materials you can use with this technique. I also think the, a strong aspect of our program is that we bring visiting artists in every semester to teach new techniques and different ways of thinking and encouraging students and that's how we keep 
things fresh and alive. So I started teaching at the University of North Texas in 2001. And I think some of the changes that have occurred um, within the fibers field since then has been technology. So say the TC1, the TC2 loom, um, the uh, digital printing, laser cutting, 3D printers, um, which the students all have available to them at the university, along with software for weaving, knitting, embroidery, and beading. Hmm. Well, I think one of the big reasons why I went into fibers is because it was a welcoming community. And that just didn't exist in other areas of art, um, I, at least not at, when I was a student. Um, it wasn't, it didn't have that competitive spirit um, th that just, um, not mentioning any <laughs> areas, but um, it, it was a warm uh, community and people were willing to share their information. Um, very few people would hold back and, and not, not help you out. Um, I think they just saw the benefit of anyone's work improving or another person being successful. It just made the whole field a stronger field. Um, so that's the reason why I went into to fibers. And I think that that still continues um, with the fiber organizations. Um, I, th I think that they work well together. And um, I, I think their thing is just figuring out how to recruit the, the younger generations. And, but that's always been the case as far as I can remember. It was an issue when I was younger. <laughs>